Energy Center in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Our final bout is brought to you by Iron Mike Productions in association with Boilermakers Local 154, Beaver County Auto, and the Pennsylvania National Guard. This is your main event of the evening. 10 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBC Faker Box Welterweight Championship. Sanctioned by the World Boxing Council President Mauricio Suleiman, Supervisor at ringside Alberto Guerra. The three judges scoring at ringside, Sam Rogers, Dana DiPaolo, and Philip Rogers. Your referee in charge of the action, Gary Rosado. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red trunks, he weighed in at 146 pounds. His professional record, 21 wins, one loss, two draws, 14 wins by way of knockout. Elio de Panama City, Panama, here is Alberto, the machine gun, Mosquera. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing a red, white, and blue. He weighed in at 146 and three quarter pounds. As an amateur, a former two-time All-Army, All-Armed Forces champion, and currently serving in the Pennsylvania National Guard. As a professional, he is undefeated. 16 wins, no losses, 12 wins by way of knockout. From Monesson, Pennsylvania, here is the reigning USBA welterweight champion, the sensational, who can, Mexican, Sammy Vasquez Jr. Instructions for Gary Rosado, your referee for this 10 round welterweight fight. You get a sense of the popularity of, of Vasquez. Let's see if he can back up all that adulation by taking out Alberto Mosquera here tonight. And there's the opening bell, first round. Vasquez in the red, white, and blue. Mosquera in the red trunks with the white trim. Mosquero coming up, two style paws. We're talking about that in training. I mean, you know, we talk about the righty lefties, but lefty, whoa, downstairs, upstairs from Vasquez before I could get my point out. Left handers don't see many left handers either. Yeah, Vasquez needs to take his time and just fight. Very composed. There's no rush here. Got 10 rounds. Let Mosquera come at him. He will be coming. Part of the great story here in Pittsburgh is for Vasquez, it's a family affair. His father is like a FedEx delivery man. You order the tickets, he gets them to you overnight, personally. <laughs> so they sold about $70,000 worth of tickets just and for tonight. It shows he's, he's got a big name here in his hometown, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Well, it's a line cl long climb in the welterweight division. There's so many great names out there. We could spend a minute or two just naming all of them. But Sammy looking sharp here, throwing a jab. Followed up with the right hand. Oh, 
definitely out style pointing Muscara at this point. He hasn't quite figured out what he's in against at this point. Vasquez very relaxed in there. She just let his punches flow. Oh. Straight right hand. Let's see if he can finish him. He's got to jump on him and take advantage. Look at him. I think he will. Here oh. he goes. Mascara. He's still up and throwing. Mascara very wild. And Vasquez going down the middle with his short shots. Oh, he just got him. Oh. But he goes down on a body shot. Oh, he wants no more. Oh, the body, body shot. shot, that's it. That's it. You them, can tell. Them, yeah, them body shots, they're, they're paralyzing. Yeah, they paralyze the whole it. body. He can't breathe. It's over. It's over. Easy night for me. Who can? Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Who can? Mexican. Mascara <laughs> tried to gamely come back and throw and landed a shot, but the price he paid was a vicious shot, and those body shots can... It, it, tough. it was a delayed reaction, yes. the body shot. It, it, we're going to see right now on the re replay how it, it was delayed. He's like, wait a minute. Did, did I feel the pain? Wait, I feel the pain. <laughs> I, I, I paralyzed. Paralyzing. But body shots are, to me, they're worse than the headshots. You've seen it many, many times. It's like you get hit by an electrical current and you're stunned by it at start. And then you go, oh, wait. There goes my legs and there goes my breath. So it was a short fight, but we have a lot of action coming in. Here comes the first knockout. First knockdown. Here we go. Flash knockout. Look at that. Check hook. You saw the hook? The right hook. There yeah. we go. Instead of jamming, he turned into a right hook. Put Mosqueda down. Now he's still on the stool over there, Mascara. As Sammy Vasquez goes around the ring, we're not real sure. He, he might have hurt himself in some way. They got ice up on his shoulder. Either way, he came, came a long way, not to last very long. Tell you what, that was an explosive win. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Console Energy Center in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, your referee in charge, Gary Rosado, reaches the count of 10 at 2 minutes, 35 seconds of the very first round. Your winner by knockout, still undefeated, and the new WBC Beckerbox welterweight champion, the sensational who can Mexican Sammy Vasquez Jr. Well, okay, we. <laughs> it took him longer to get into the ring on the Humvee than it <laughs> took to to take care of business tonight. We come back. The champ is in the ring with the young up-and-coming star. This Tuesday, the theater of dreams, one of the most historical stadiums in the world.